Hi everybody, Ashton Reese here with Cooper Sotheby's International Realty wanting to give you a update on what we're seeing in the real estate market. Uh, things are obviously a little bit slow. Everybody's quarantined to their house, uh, so they're working from home, kids are at home, it's getting a little crazy at home, uh, and pretty much everybody's home so if there's kids involved. Um, and just want to let you know what we're seeing out there, what to expect. Um, I've been on more more webinars. Uh, with We did one with the CEO of Sotheby's. We did uh, different webinars with different economists. Um, we've been really kept in the loop super well on what we're seeing, what we're expecting, and wanted to bring you guys some good news. Um, there's not a whole lot of good news out there, uh, and I've got some. So um, what we're thinking is, as far as real estate goes, anybody was in the market or wondering what's gonna happen in their home values, there's a lot of pent up demand right now. Um, everybody's stuck at home, um, not really able to go see stuff out there. And so when you're in tight quarters with family and all that stuff, um, we long for a house that's often bigger or has more space to run around outside, etc. cetera. Um, and actually since the Great Recession in 2008, there's been a housing shortage nationally of about 4.5 million units. So um, there's still a big demand out there and then you coop everybody up in the hottest part of the year, hottest real estate season, typically in the spring and the summer. And um, we're expecting to see a whole bunch of pent up demand coming out of uh, this quarantine whenever, whenever it ends. So. Um, that should help uh, keep prices where they are, um, and then you add government lowering interest rates, uh, mortgage rates, um, to drive uh, economic growth, that should help as well. So um, both of those things are good. Um, also when you think about humans, we have three core needs in shelter, food, and clothing. So. You know, adding a, a, a national shortage of, of units available is, is super helpful, low interest rates, all that's gonna drive economic growth nationally. Um, what we're seeing out there right now though is what is a temporary buyer's market. You know, people can't go see houses, so the people that have houses listed are getting way less showings, and it's an opportunity for the right buyer who's patient or whatever to hypothetically get a pretty good, you know, low ball or get a good price on um, a home when historically this is the hottest part of the year. So if you're ready to go, if you're near you know, jumping on this, I super encourage you to. Um, the rates are great um, and the activity is low. If you want me to run and do a virtual tour for you so you don't have to go in and see it, I'm happy to do that um, or, or anything. Um, so let me know. Um, we've seen a huge spike in virtual showings, which the industry is never going to be the same. Um, it's awesome. I'm super glad we're doing these, you know, not only video tours, but 3D uh, walkthroughs um, called Matterport. It's awesome. You can go into every single room in the house, see the square footage and dimensions of everything. Um, that's just kind of the way we're going to be doing it from now on. So super glad that's coming out of this. Um, then anybody who's in a tough financial spot or you know is, is hypothetically going to be in one. So if they have more than 25% equity in their home, um, they can qualify for something called a home equity line of credit, um, also known as a HELOC. Um, that's super helpful. Uh, nationally, um, we've got $6.3 trillion worth of equity that we can tap into to borrow on on a lower interest rate than say, you know, a, a credit card or something. If we have to pay bills and stuff, you can tap the equity that you've actually already established in your home as long as it's more than 25%. You have to keep 25% equity in your home. Um, this is also a great time to be doing home improvement projects. For any of those who are, are, know that they want to list, you know, you, in, what, everything we're hearing is you want to wait and be, when everyone gets released into the, into the real estate market, you want to be one of those homes that is, is available. That's where we're going to see the multiple offers right now. We're not seeing them. Um, so uh, be getting your home ready. You know, um, I offer free photography with amazing photographers that make a great home look even more magical. And so um, spend this time getting ready. I'm going to be doing some home improvement tips. I'm super handy for any of y'all that know me. Um, so I'm going to be doing some tips and tricks on, on, a, on a kind of a more occasional basis for homeowners that don't necessarily know how to do some of these easy things to keep your home in pristine condition. Um, Everything from minor tree trimming to uh, just for different repair topics. Um, anyhow, 
be on the lookout for those. I'm not sure if the media, if I'm gonna be sending them through email or uh, social media, probably there, because I don't wanna blow you guys up with uh, stuff that you may or may not want. So um, that's something, um, but I really just wanna to touch base with you guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's changing all the time, mortgage stuff and all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, call me. Um, I'm working a lot, I'm trying to stay on top of all this stuff, and I'm doing it for, for y'all's benefit. Um, I, I know that you look at me as a proactive trusted advisor, and so I'm, I'm doing all that legwork. I have been for, for weeks and weeks. Um, and so feel free to call me if you have any questions, um, and I would love to talk. I hope you guys and your family are doing really well. Um, I hope you're making it through this. I hope you and your family and your extended family and all your friends are safe from this terrible thing. And um, we'll get out of it soon. Um, and I pray an abundant blessing over your families um, that you will come out of this thing um, stronger in ways than you ever thought you could. Um, so, hope, again, I hope you're doing well. And um, love you guys. Talk to you soon.